guys, so I'm here with my Parme flip. This is a Vanderspeck Parme. I'm sure you've seen there are a lot of videos and people have this. I'm totally late to this party, but it is a beautiful, beautiful pink leather. And I will put in the description box all the modifications. I did get it custom made. I had to email Petra to get on the wait list and then she reached out whenever my name came up on the wait list. And then it took a little bit. She does have ready to ship items. I got my pocket, which is a junior, um, ready to ship. But because I wanted a personal wide, which is not a size she offers, you have to get the regular and then make modifications. I did have to get this custom made. So it did take longer, but it was totally worth it. Offhand, like I widened it obviously to make it personal wide. I got a chubby strap. I got a longer strap because you know I like to stuff my planners. I got a back pocket, stuff like that. So. Let's get this party started. She is pretty chunky because I had so much fun setting her up. The thing I love about this color is that it, it's almost like a pink neutral. It goes with just about everything in my opinion, in my color scheme obviously. And it's just so versatile. And I just got really simple inside pockets. Every modification I will say does cost money and it's not cheap. This is definitely the most expensive planner I've ever bought. I've never bought a Gilio. That's not really my style, but I did like this one because I like this color so much. And then I did request smooth leather because you've seen different Parmes. Some have much more pebbliness or bigger scaling. I don't know if that's the proper term, but I really wanted smooth leather. I'm not a big leather person, but yeah. And then I did get a back pocket because I love back pockets. I think they are amazing. So to jump in, this is mostly gonna be a deco flip. I will touch on some functional things. I'm still figuring it out for my 2020 setup. So I'll talk about that as well. But a very detailed functional flip will be coming once I have it all sorted. Probably it'll be my 2020 planner video. So in the inside pocket, I just have a Fox and Pit bow marker that I think Annie made me out of vinyls cause I'm not good at that. <laughs> and then I layered a bunch of cute bits and pieces from Lace and Whimsy and um, Live Life and Create and other places on here. Here I just tucked in this pretty, like, is that snake skin? I think that paper is from Joann's. This cute little peonies papery clip and then a Lace and Whimsy sticker sheet and a hollow doily. I did get silver rings, you can get gold. Interestingly, I do like gold, but because my setups change and include a lot of hollow and pastels i think the silver looks better with that and it's just more neutral and it didn't cost any extra money and the gold does so up here i just have a piece of thick vellum with a vinyl i'm sorry this is this was a gift so it is not for sale but i always kind of put a piece of vellum with my name on the very front and then i always spend a lot of time thinking about what i'm layering behind that so in this case I have this, I layered behind it this LV foiled acetate from, I think Stacy made this for me a long time ago, Kitty Mint Co. So I have that right behind there. And then behind that, I have this awesome paper from, is it Michael's? It's either Michael's or Joanne's. I love how this looks together. I love how this looks. I think that's hecka dope. I just said hecka. I don't know why, it's not like I can't say hella. And yeah, and then on the back of this paper, I actually taped or I um, glued this paper along onto this paper because they're white on the back. And then I added this little envelope that's been in another setup with this cute little card from Jacenia as well. And then some little Twin Stars stationery paper that I had. And then my name, this is by C. Amy Draw. And then here, this is a Simply Gilded journaling card I've had forever. I think I bought this off a of buy, sell, trade group, like just the cards because I love this whole scheme. I put a teeny tiny little rose colored days pocket here and this cute little um, Starbucks die cut. I honestly don't know what shop this is from. And then a little crystal. I think this one is from the Villa Beautiful sub, which was like amazing. I do have a lot of those pieces in here. Monster X Babe, I think was made for me by planning with Quinn. And then on the back here, I have a Celestial sticky pocket from Print Pression, one of his older boxes, and just little bits and pieces, another little Fox and Pip bow marker and vinyl sticker. 
This acetate is from Madison Fox Plans. Again, I love the layering. I love, I love doing different sizes so that you can see what's behind it. And then this on top of this. This was in one of my last setups. It is a piece of rainbow paper from the Happy Scrappy Sub. And then I put this giant Muji pocket. This pocket has two sections and then one big pocket. And I, I bought like 20 of these because I love them so much and I definitely want them in every set. They are the perfect size for personal wide. And again, they're from Muji. Lots of fun little bits and pieces, a little freebie from Aria's Daydream. I've got some Powder World, some Sparkly Paper Co. I love these. And a little Pigtails and Pockets Fat Bow. And then I have just some vinyls. This little corner pocket is from Happy Scrappy. I have this little official Planner Club member card from Fox and Pip. And then this star uh, acetate, I believe, was also made for me by Stacy from Kitty Mint Co. I have a Rose Color Days Rainbow Celestial Adhesive Pocket here. I have no idea where I got this die cut. Mm, I wanna say it's Crafts by Tally because it's very much her vibe, but I'm not sure if it is. And then on the back, I just have a different little, I'm gonna make you so proud die cut that I stuck behind there because you can see it peeking out from this side and I like how it's black and white and we have like the black from the back of the foiling, but it looks cool there. This guy is just a homemade sequined pocket. Anna, planning with Anna made a bunch of these for me. And then I tucked in some fun paper. This paper is from the Villa Beautiful Kit and I layered a ton of die cuts from Grumpy Bear. I loved this whole uh, kit lineup, whatever that she had. This is from the Planner Sophist Kit, that was a gift. So I just layered a ton of them on top of each other and I kind of love how it came out because if you have a lot of these like small die cuts and you're not really sure what to do with them, unless you're in a pocket planner, then they can fit in there. I think it's really fun to layer a bunch of them together to make, I mean, I just love how this looks. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then on the back, again, layered a ton of die cuts from a bunch of different places. Aria's Daydream, her amazing like, birthday Lux, not birthday Lux kit. We just did the Lux collab, so Lux is on my mind. But her Disney birthday bundle. And then I have more acetate. This is from, I think this is also from Stacy, but a lot of people make versions of this now. This amazing moon lunar calendar that Jacenia sent me, which I'm very sad because 2019 is about to be over. And I don't know if she's going to make any for 2020, but I've had one of these in all of my setups as well. My word of the year for 2019, Thrive. This was lettered by Kanani from Studio L2E. I have this amazing Planner Magic hollow sticker, not hollow, yes, hollow, not sticker, die cut from Sparkly Paper Co. This is probably one of my favorite things Brandy has ever drawn, and I love it so much. So it will probably always be, it's in my pocket as well because this is actually perfectly sized to be a pocket sized dashboard, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then another homemade little sequined dashboard. Whoops, that's probably something. I've got a Lace and Whimsy sticker sheet. All the dangles are from my shop, Exo Carolyn Designs. Yeah, see, she got a little wonky. Well, she's supposed to be straight. Oops, but apparently I didn't tape her. So that's okay. She's layered on top of another sticker sheet by Lacey Whimsy and some die cuts. I have a collage of husband because I love him. And he is on top of this star. This was a folder from Office Depot that I just cut out. On the back, I put another Rose Colored Days Celestial Pocket. We've got some Monster X. We've got these epic Sparkly Paper Co. little foiled chubby star. And they're on the clear paper, so you can put them over dates and stuff. It's really cute. I haven't done it yet because I'm kind of scared. I have these little date dots that are from Korea from several years ago. Some sticky notes. This uh, Annie made for us just has 2020 year at a glance. I think she has a new version of this in her shop with the entire year on one page, but it doesn't have this border. That was just like specially made for us for the collab. As you can see, my dividers are all out of order, which is driving me bananas, but I don't want to get di dividers made until I know for sure what my sections will be. So I've started with the year. Um, all of my covers are Annie Plans printables that have like a pattern like this. This is part of the Lux collab. And I have in here these monthlies, which I love. 
This was a collab, I think, with L Plans and Annie. And I love this because you have the month at a glance on one page, and then you have this fold out. And you can get the version with a habit tracker here, or you can get a blank version. And then you have a bunch of little list sections. So I didn't end up doing November because it's basically almost over, but I keep sticky notes in here so I can jot down as I future plan what I need to get done in the month. I'm probably gonna include like goals, focus, shop to-dos, personal to-dos, other things. And yeah, I just love that. The little Fox and Pit vinyl sticker there. This is December and I will fill out December. So you see I put like preemptively put these sticky notes in here so I remember to jot down things I wanna get done. I'm actually gonna work on December goals today. January and that's all I have so far. This sticky pocket is from the Villa Beautiful monthly kit sub. I've got a picture of me and Annie, a bunch of little sticker sheets. Carolyn25 for all your Annie Plans printables. Amazing, I still have that. These dividers are from Studio L2E. I love her dividers. I've had them in every setup as well since I've gotten them because you can change out the tab sticker and she has amazing celestial ones that I'm obsessed with. Next, I have my weekly. So I don't have a tab for weekly because I wasn't doing a weekly and a daily for a while because I wasn't using this planner in that way, but I think I will be. So this is one of the things I'm testing out and then I'll decide and then order the appropriate dividers in the correct order. This insert cover is from Justenia's Printables. I love the rainbow clouds and the cute little heart detail in here. These are all from Annie Plans Printables. I print them on personal size because they're kind of like traveling to-do lists and I like to have them, they don't need to be the full page, I like having the full page be the main event, which is like my weekly. So this is a weekly I was trying out for last week and I just planned on little sticky notes actually. This week I'm going to try this one which is part of the Lux collab. I love this because you have your week at a glance for appointments and whatnot. These columns are easy width, so you can use fun stickers. And then there's two lists, which is perfect for me because I have personal to-dos and work. And this cute sticker is from Crafts by Towie. This work sticker, I believe, is from Scribble Prints Co. I did add a little sticky note tab to quickly get to my week. And then I have one for last week, but today is Monday, so it's officially this week. Wow, so I can take that out. And then I just, I wanna make sure I use this beautiful peach palm little sticker sheet for, actually, I wanna use this for this week because it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> wow, I keep forgetting Thanksgiving is this week. So I'll decorate that later. But this insert comes with gray and with the pink. It might also come with the brown, but I didn't print that. This is part of the Jasonius Printables insert that is this cover, as you can see. Unfortunately, I don't have the other side, but the other side is a week at a glance as well. Great insert. Again, cover by Annie Plans Printables. This is my dailies, and I change my dailies depending on, well, whether I need them, A, and then B, whatever new inserts Annie has out. So I was using this, which was the collab with Aria's Daydream, and now I'm using this one. This is my daily. Oh, look, I've done so much of this. I've journaled. I've done my Peloton. Okay, I haven't done that much. And then I'm filming my flip. TBD on those other things. Um, these dividers, by the way, are from Planet Char. I'm not sure if she's open right now, but I have several sets of her dividers. I've talked about them before. I have a project section, which um, I'm currently going to be using these inserts from Annie. I think they're great because they have a fold out. So there's lots of space to brainstorm and drop stuff down as well as dedicated lists for specific action items. These big post-it, not post-it, wow, sticky note are, these are happy planner, like mini happy planner size. They have tabs. They come in these packs. They're okay. I like the idea of them. They're just a little bit too tall for personal wide, which is kind of annoying, but I like big post-its. Sticky notes, oh my gosh. Sticky notes, sticky notes. Post-it is the company, sticky note is the product. Um, so that's my project section, which I haven't filled out, but I do have at least one project, which is moving, that I need to start flushing out for next year, and then others as they come. This adorable vellum is from the Aria's Daydream birthday bundle. This little card is from 
a peach palm, which I love, and I want her to do like a million of these. This epic Leo star sign journaling card is from Rose Colored Days. I love it. And I layered that on top of this happy scrappy paper. I actually want to put something on the back of this, but I'm not sure yet what. Probably just something simple like sticky notes, but my planner is already so chunky. Husband. And then I have my list. Oh, I didn't reprint this cover. Well, I need to reprint my list cover. This is from my Halloween setup. And my list is just miscellaneous different inserts. I have Happy Mail in here. I have Black Friday stuff in here that I want to buy from. And then whatever other list strike my fancy. Then I have my wellness section, which used to be fitness focused and then mental health focused. This is the section that I'm still kind of working out. I don't know that I want to track my fitness the way that I always have because I don't, I realized I was tracking it and I wasn't referring to it. Like I do everything on my phone when it comes to that kind of stuff. And then in terms of what mental health, that's my big thing. So I used to track with the life in pixels. I don't even have it in here anymore. That is not how I have to track my mood anymore because I kind of know that I'm out of the thick of it. But I do, my mood still fluctuates quite a bit. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to track that. I haven't started yet. It is something that I want to figure out before my 2020 planner set up. This is another insert from Just Any's Printables. I have a picture of me and Ash there. And this just has miscellaneous little inserts in here. This is a dreaming section. This is kind of for like goal setting, intentions, mantras. I haven't filled anything out. I took out what was in there. And, oh, I need to find a tab for that. This is the self-love. I think it's, I'm not sure what the actual bundle is called on Jasenia's website, but I love it because it has this handy thing where you can break down your goals and self-care, goals, self-care, but kind of works hand in hand. And then I love this, my daily routine, where you can like jot in what you want your ideal day to look like. And then triggers, helpers, other things related to mental health or whatnot there. And I did make some notes about some really bad anxiety moments that I had there. So that is the kind of stuff I do want to capture here, but I want to figure out a more routine way to do it. This is from C. Amy Draw. This is from Lace and Whimsy, and I just made a little washi dashboard on the back of it. This is, I don't remember where this is from. This is like some scrapbooking company and I just cut it down so it's two pockets. I like it because it's really, really thin. And then I just layered some fun pictures and cards and pockets and whatnot. I love this pic from Vegas. This is from, I think this is from Villa Beautiful, but I might be wrong. Me and my mom, me and the boys in New York. This fun little thing is from Frank Cartu and Willa Wallaco. And this is my Carolyn section, which just includes kind of a catch-all, and I'm probably not gonna go into super detail in this section, but one thing I did add is, if I have shop-related stuff right now, it's in this section. I do use a Hobonichi Weeks for my shops, my shops, my shop, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue next year. I'm, I'm kind of over the Hobonichi weeks. So I'm using this new monthly from Justinia that has a month at a glance here, and then I love that it has these sections because I think it's perfect for personal, but also for me, for shop purposes. I need more space for personal, but it has like finances, important tasks, weekly tasks, some habit tracking and goals. I think this is a great monthly snapshot view for the shop. So I just bought this and printed it out. And I put the entire year in here so I can pre-plan. And then this is a cute Frank Hartsu Hobonichi Weeks sticker that I put on this vellum because I love the way that looks because I have a, I bought a bunch of those and I'm not in Hobo Weeks anymore, but I want to use them. This business finance bundle is from Elmon Paper Co. And it was a collab that she did with Maddie Plans. And I really like this because it's perfect for business expenses. There is a section where you can write down all your expenses, but I have way too many. Like those go into a spreadsheet for me. But they do have a place where you can put in your income. Because if you have income from multiple sources, which I do, this is a great way to capture them all in one place. As you can see, I have not started. 
This is for 2019, so I am gonna go back retroactively and fill it out, and then it also includes 2020, which I will fill out going forward. So I just have like that and miscellaneous little grid pages. And then I have another one of those giant Muji pockets that I put on some scrap of paper and layered a bunch of fun little bits and pieces in there. I love that. And then I put a giant pocket back here. I, I don't even remember where I got that. And some pics and stickers in the back of that. I'm trying to include more stickers in here so that I can reach for them and use them. That's what I have in this Catspresso um, pouch is like a ton of stickers. I have like all the Fox and Pip. Cute little design decorative checklists. Highlight of my day from See Amy Draw. Oh, here's where my inbox stickers are. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull this out because I, need, I needed them the other day. Oh, I have two kinds. I have Amy's and I have Amanda's. So I'm gonna pull those out because I have a place for that. I need to use some of those. And then this is just a page lifter from Foxy Fix, I believe. I put this in every one of my setups. A little Starbucks card from Sam from Singapore. I have this cute hollow iridescent pocket from Happy Scrappy that I layered one of her stickers on. And then I just layered in a bunch of cute little bits and pieces. And then in my back pocket, it's very simple. I just have this little sampler from, oh, there's hair, sorry. Sampler from Sparkly Paper Co. More stickers. This is Grumpy Bear. And then Villa Beautiful from that month because how gorgeous are all these? This, these colors are just giving me life and I like tucking them in like that so you can see. And then I have my pen that I did with Villa Beautiful here, which I'm obsessed with. And it's perfect fit. And then this is a little cute magnetic bookmark from Powder World. And then again, I have a pocket in the back where I just keep extra inserts and other miscellaneous important items that I don't want to lose. Uh, all my charms are from my shop, Exo Carolyn Designs. This is the Lux charm we did for the collab and the coordinating. This will be, these will both be restocked um, because they both sold out, but I'm just not sure when yet, so. That is it for my Carme. I love it so much. And I will probably stay in this for a while. I did, um, I will be getting the Aura Estelle Tweed. I forget the official name planner, which I love, that I also wanna set up, cause I just, I think it's so Chanel-esque and like beautiful. I do have my pocket. I'm not gonna go through this now, but I will once it's finalized. It's also very cute. Again, love the front dash. I have this star acetate from Scribble Prints Co. Vellum with my name. And then this perfectly sized, which I'm sure Ashley did not do on purpose because she hates pocket, as do I. But, you know, I'm just having fun with it. Yeah, so I will film a flip on this later if I find it to be remotely functional. That's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.